Good afternoon and welcome to the celebration of the class of 2020 at Rhodes College. We are so proud of you. We are so excited for you. We are so looking forward to enjoying a few moments together this afternoon to celebrate you and your graduation. I'm Milton Moreland, Dr. Milton Moreland. I'm the provost. I'm a professor in archaeology and religious studies. I have so enjoyed getting to know so many of you, both as a faculty member and as a parent of a member of the class of 2020. Well, it's going to be a great few moments today just to celebrate you, to have some opportunities to remember your time at Rhodes and also to look forward to a life together with you and the Rhodes family. As I walked on the campus today, I was a little sad, I must say. There's a little tinge, of course, of sadness in this moment, but we hold it in tension with the excitement, with the optimism. It, it goes in keeping in many respects with what we're facing right now in our world. There's a lot of pessimism, there's a lot of unknowns, but at the same time as humans, we have the ability to hold that intention with the optimism, with a sense of, you know, bring it on. What's the future gonna be? I don't know, but it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be an adventure. And you, my friends, the class of 2020, are ready for it. You're prepared for it. You've been preparing for this for a lifetime, but particularly the rigor of the last four years, the resilience you've shown as students, as humans. You hold that tension. You, you have studied the past, but you're looking forward to the future. You've had great joys, but you've also shared in the sadness of our life together over the last four years in this adventure. You've got great hopes, but at the same time, we have a lot of fears. Today, we're going to celebrate all of that. And I hope as you gather with your families, as you gather with your friends, and welcome to all the parents and the grandparents, welcome to all the folks who support and love and have provided the resources and made it possible for you to have this great education as you celebrate with them, we want to acknowledge that this is a weird moment. This is a strange moment, but it's also a great moment. It's the launch of the next part of your lives. And we are so happy. We are so amazingly happy for you that you've accomplished this. This is a great day. You did it. You're going to hear from some faculty. I was with faculty a few days ago in a virtual faculty meeting, and they were sharing stories about just how much they appreciate you, the hard work, your abilities, your amazing abilities to think and to problem solve. Some of them are going to share a few moments of congratulation with you and we're going to turn to that now as we start our program. Hello, seniors. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I know you have a lot of videos to choose from, so I appreciate you taking time uh, to listen to this one. Class of 2020, congratulations. As you go forward, be true, be bold, and be grateful. I wish you all a long, healthy, and happy life, and one filled with social closeness. Congratulations again. Congratulations to the historic class of 2020. And I'll look forward to a time when we can all celebrate face to face. Class of 2020, you did it. We are incredibly proud of you and your persistence and you will always be so special to us. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it. Now good luck on the rest of your journey. I so wish we could all be together to celebrate in person, especially since I splurged and got each and every one of you an expensive bottle of champagne. Oh well, guess I'll have to keep them all to myself. I'm so proud of all of you. Please be safe and healthy and keep in touch. Congratulations, Rhodes College class of 2020. I hope each and every one of you are taking a moment in these wild times to reflect on the last four years and everything that you've learned in your time at Rhodes College. You're all exceptionally smart, 
hardworking, compassionate people. And I look forward very much to hearing about your further adventures and achievements as you go on to take on the world. To the class of 2020, congratulations. You're here, you've arrived, you've made it. Um, not quite the landing we thought we were all gonna stick in uh, April and May of 2020, but uh, you're ready. You're ready for this moment. Congratulations, class of 2020, well done. Go after your dreams. Don't let the fear of failure stop you from starting and stay on top of your email. Graduates, we're so proud of the work you've done with us for the last four years. We can't wait to hear what comes next. We're so proud of the transformation that you've shown over the last four years to become strong, independent thinkers, ready to make a profound impact on our world. Congratulations to all of you who are receiving bachelor's or master's degrees today. You have shown such passion. Your achievements really do inspire me and keep me challenged as I continue here on in this wonderful place that you're leaving. And I look forward to seeing where your next adventure takes you. Congrats, class of 2020. We miss you guys and I'm so sorry we won't be able to celebrate in Fisher Garden this year, but it's gonna be okay and um, all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020, for your well-deserved achievement. Life is going to be busy wherever you go. But always remember to take a few minutes each day to reflect on the important things in life. I wish you all the best. We're sending you out into the world in a strange time, but this is something for which I know you're prepared. I have faith in you and I know you're going to succeed. I wish you all the best. I'm so excited to see what life has in store for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it! It's a very big deal. Congrats, class of 2020. We can't wait to see all the amazing things that you're going to do and don't forget to come back and visit us. As you graduate, I hope you find some peace and confidence in the fact that what it took you four years to build isn't torn down in a mere two months. We're wishing you all the best in the future and we're expecting an in-person hug or handshake as soon as possible. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Professor Shuba and all the other faculty members who took a moment to offer their congratulations. We as faculty are so proud of this class, all of you. Thank you, Professor Church. Thank you, Professor Tuvel. Um, Professor Tuvel, you do know that the Postal Service will deliver bottles, so just in case you wanna send those our way. Well, as faculty, <laughs> We challenge you. We ask you to bring your A game for the last four years, and we are indeed so proud that you rose to those moments and you accomplished so much. I hope that you feel that passion that we have for you, and I really do hope you will stay in touch with us. Um, I, I must say, as a faculty member at Rhodes for 17 years, I still write recommendation letters for students that I had a decade ago or more. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. We asked some of you, the class of 2020, to send us some videos and to send us some pictures and different memories. And we are going to turn now to some of those moments from you that you sent in. Uh, it's great to see your faces. It's great to see all of your memories and the excitement you have as you look back over your last four years at Rose College. So here we go. Class of 2020, this is you. I think my favorite memory from Rhodes and the thing that I'll miss the most will probably just be being able to go to the RAT and eat lunch together with my friends. Definitely the MPHC stroll up. It was super exciting. Rites of spring, my junior year. It really was just the entire Rhodes community coming together to dance the night away. It was so much fun. Cousin Stiz, who was opening, who's like one of my personal favorite rappers. And then after the concert, I actually ran into him on campus, got to meet him, he took a photo with me, we talked for a second, and it was a really great moment, just a really great day, and something I'm always gonna be thankful for. One of my favorite memories at Rose is winning the Intramural Volleyball Championship. Winning the Field Hockey SAA Conference Championship in the 2018-2019 season. But it was really one of the most amazing feelings to be able to celebrate a team win like that against a group of really talented girls that had been neck and neck with us the whole season. The Swanee game this year where we got to bring the cup back, 
my senior day game. I got to wear my dad's college football number and for my final college football game, switching from 56 to 31, and I play really well, and I'll always cherish those moments. The thing that I will cherish the most about my time on the Rhodes women's soccer team is the team culture. This year was about way more than soccer, and I couldn't have done it without the women around me. So I'm very grateful to have had such a wonderful, supportive uh, family at Rhodes. I loved having that friendliness. I came to know and love so many professors, so I'm really gonna miss all the friendly faces and amazing people that I met during my college years.
I love that. I love your stories. I love your pictures. I love your memories. Sometimes, as a faculty member, I think of you as sitting in the classroom 24-7 for four straight years, but the reality is you have made a life here in Memphis. You have made a life here at Rhodes for the last four years. You've traveled the world. You've played sports. You've been involved in mock trial. You have made such close friends. You've been involved in Greek life. You have had some amazing concerts on this campus. Love it. I love those memories, and I know that as you go through life, those are going to come back to you over and over again. You're going to cling to those friendships. You're going to cling to those relationships. You are part of this Rhodes family, and we are so proud of you. We're going to take a moment with Chaplain Beatrix to think just a little bit about what we've experienced together over the last four years and a couple of our friends that we've lost. Every single one of us has experienced grief throughout the last four years or in these last few months. We toll the bells of Rhodes College to recognize this loss. The reason these losses hurt so deeply is because we loved so fiercely. Today we hold dear to our hearts the opportunities, experiences, and beloved friends and family members the class of 2020 has lost. We lift up and name Maria Garland and Paul Trapini, who would have graduated this weekend if things were different. We honor those we have lost and recognize our grief with the tolling of these bells. Thank you, Chaplain Beatrix, for the, that moment of thoughtful reflection. As we move forward this afternoon, I am happy to introduce the Road Singers, who are going to provide a little musical interlude for us as they sing, Neither Angels, Nor Demons, Nor Powers, directed by our own Professor Bill Skook. Oh. 
Wow, I love it. That was beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you all of you who are so talented singers, the road singers. Thank you to Professor Bill Skoog, and thank you to Raneem for producing and editing that amazing performance. Well, look, we're celebrating your graduation, true. But guess what? Now you're alumni. So your relationship with the college just continues. And to celebrate the fact that you're part of this family now as Rhodes alumni, I'm going to turn it over to Christy to give the annual welcome to you, the newest alumni of Rhodes College. Wow, class of 2020. I know it is hard to imagine today, but boy, do you have a story to tell your children, grandchildren, and all members of the next generations. You are ready. You are prepared. Nothing, not even a pandemic, can take away your achievement. So remember the Rhodes College vision is a part of who you became while you were on campus. And it is a part of who you will become throughout the next steps in life. Your time at Rhodes may have come to an end, but your next journey in life is just beginning. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Thank you, Christy. And welcome, all of you, the, the newest class of Rhodes alumni. Welcome to the family. Well, as I mentioned, the, the Rhodes faculty, they love you. They appreciate your hard work, your dedication, the passion you brought to your studies for the last four years, the way you dove into all of these difficult topics and took it on. We've asked a few of them, a few of our distinguished faculty members to give you a little greeting and a little word of advice. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Professor Jen Shuba. Your college career isn't defined by the way it ended. It's defined by the way you lived it. The relationships you built with your peers, your faculty, and the broader community is the foundation of your life after Rhodes. The knowledge you accumulated is the scaffolding of a rich inner and outer life in the decades to come. As you graduate, I hope you find some peace and confidence in the fact that what it took you four years to build isn't torn down in a mere two months. Here's why I know you're ready for this moment. One of my favorite poems is this poem by uh, Langston Hughes, and it's called I Too. And the first stanza says, I am the darker brother they send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes. And here's the line, but I laugh, eat well, and grow strong. And that's what I hope for you in this moment, in this time, that you will laugh, eat well, and grow strong. Those lines are about perseverance and preparation. Perseverance and preparation. Um, those two things go together, particularly now, right? More than ever, um, you are going to be called on to persevere and you are going to be called on to be prepared, to be prepared to um, contribute to our society in this moment, be prepared to uh, blaze your own path and blaze your own trail. Um, and so perseverance and preparation, those are two things that you excel at, I know you're ready. And that's the other thing, you are ready. You've been trained over the last four years to think broadly and deeply about all manner of issues, all manner of problems. And so uh, bring your gifts to bear in this moment. We're proud of you, congratulations, let's get to it. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. And I think that is really important, especially now because you have all these voices telling you what you should be doing with your career, you know, all these things, but you need to follow your voice and um, you're not destined to do anything except for what you choose to do and following your inner voice and, and following who you are and not just career-wise, but also who you want to become as a person, what relationships you want to nurture um, and the kind of person that you want to be. And so I hope that you're able to do that and that you can maybe take um, a little bit of that with you as you graduate. So I wish you all the best. I'm so excited to see what life has in store for you. Take a few minutes each day to be alone with yourself. Put down the cell phone, turn off the television, 
and simply watch your breath, watch your thoughts, and watch your emotions. What you will discover is that you come to understand yourself better. This will make you a better parent to your children, a better child to your parents, a better spouse to your spouse, a better employee to your boss, and a better boss to your employees. Most importantly, it will make you a better friend to yourself. You can be whatever you want to be. I'm sure many of you heard this growing up from a parent, other family members, or perhaps a teacher. And now, here you are, all grown up with the endorsement of a Rhodes degree, which was at least on the back end, earned during a global pandemic. Your numerous accomplishments were impressive enough, but now you've outdone yourselves, showing resilience through this global pandemic that none of us could have imagined just four months ago. You've shown creativity, flexibility, and determination that demonstrate that you are ready to be whatever you want to be and to do whatever you set your mind to do. I wanna uh, use this video as an opportunity to encourage you to take seriously uh, the reading that you're going to do in the next decade. Freed from the uh, confines of a syllabus, your reading life is yours to shape and I want to assure you that it will shape and enhance your life in ways you can't even begin to imagine now. Uh, the next decade is the last time in your life when everything you absorb can still change and enhance who you are. So be cognizant uh, of that fact as you continue to explore your interests and deepen your engagement with literature and the written word. Uh, you'll also have your heart broken more than once in the next decade. And I want that experience to be uh, cherished as well because it will sharpen who you are and uh, reveal things about yourself you didn't know. It has been my honor uh, to have taught and to have known you these last four years. And I look forward to seeing you in three dimensions rather than in the Brady Bunch format of a Zoom screen. Uh, I want you to be healthy and happy, and I want you to fall in love in the next couple of years, uh, even if your heart is broken. Stay in touch, and best of luck. I want to say thanks to all the faculty, and particularly the faculty that we just heard from, Professor Boswell. Indeed, it is an honor to teach, to work with these fine students, now our friends and alumni. It is such pleasure to see you over these four years. I greeted you as your provost four years ago, and to be able to see the developments that you've made has just been amazing. You are indeed lifelong learners. You're curious learners. You're, you're ready to take on the challenge of this, challenges of this world. You really are prepared. And I, I hope that you go with gusto into this world, that you take up some new challenges, that you take up some adventures. It's a really interesting world out there, and you're going to be great. You are prepared for this. As a parent, a few days ago when, you know, we learned that uh, Micah passed all his classes and is gonna graduate. Micah and I are not social distancing. We, we had a big old hug, maybe a few tears, maybe a few smiles and a little laughter. It's been a great ride. It's been a wonderful four years. As your provost and now as your friend, I offer to you just the best wishes I hope you have a great adventure in your life ahead and come back and see us often. I am now honored and pleased to introduce and turn this program over to President Marjorie Haas. I am delighted to celebrate with the class of 2020. It's been an honor and a pleasure to watch you grow in knowledge and confidence. 
Today's celebration is in honor of your hard work and the ways you've grown intellectually, spiritually, and personally during your four years at Rhodes. The distance between us today does not diminish those accomplishments. They burn bright and all the more so because of the difficulties you've had to face as you completed this unprecedented semester. So too, the relationships you've built here with your classmates, with faculty, with members of our staff can't be conquered by distance or time. In fact, they will only grow firmer and deeper. Your bond as a class lasts a lifetime. It's hard to believe, but your relationship to each other and with Rhodes is just beginning. You'll dance together at weddings and see babies born and families of all kinds made. You'll celebrate newly minted doctors, lawyers, and professionals. You'll cheer each other on in success and support each other in times of trials. And like the graduates who've come before you, you'll take on responsibility for ensuring that Rhodes continues to serve future generations. As a class, you've had to face grown up doses of loss and disappointment sooner than we would have wished. They've given you resolve and resilience. They've shown you what you're made of when the chips are down. I can't wait to see what you do next. At Rhodes, we measure our success not by what a Rhodes education does for each of our students, but by what it allows our students to do for the world. Our mission statement says that in offering you this education, we aim to graduate students with a lifelong passion for learning, compassion for others, and the ability to translate academic study and personal concern into effective leadership and action in your communities and the world. As I think of each of you today, I know this aim has been achieved. You are passionate, compassionate, well-educated, talented, and ready to serve and lead. You've had two presidents during your time at Rhodes. I'm grateful for the warm welcome you gave to me and Larry when we arrived three years ago. You'll always be part of our first memories and impressions of Rhodes. Knowing that Dr. Trout, my predecessor, was an important part of your first year at Rhodes, I reached out to him to share some words with you. He was delighted. He asked me to tell you that he and Carol remember your arrival at Rhodes in August of 2016. He said, since then, you've worked hard and you leave Rhodes more than ready to serve and lead. Congratulations, class of 2020, and Godspeed. While we have had to postpone our commencement ceremony, today remains the day that your degrees are awarded. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the state of Tennessee and the trustees of Rhodes College, today I confer upon you the degrees you've earned. Congratulations to each of you and to your families who have supported you in this effort. Your diplomas have been signed and are ready to be mailed to you. You are indeed now graduates of Rhodes College. We are incredibly proud of you. May your paths be blessed.